Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Spotlight in Unreal Engine. Spotlight emits light in the specified direction from a single point in space in a cone shape. It emits light from a single point in space in the cone shape guys. It works like the real world flashlight that is the torch light guys. Let me go to Unreal Engine, I go to Place Actors, go to Lights and drag and drop a Spotlight. You can see that the Spotlight is emitting light from a single point in a space in a specified direction in the cone shape guys, in the conical shape you can see that. Right, that is the Spotlight guys. Let's understand some commonly used properties. First we have Intensity. Intensity indicates brightness of the emitted light. I go back, I go to details panel, I pin it. Here we have the intensity guys. We can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness of the spotlight here. You can see, I can increase or decrease the brightness of the emitted light guys. Next property we have attenuation radius. Attenuation radius indicates how far the light is emitted that is length of the cones it indicates the length of the spotlight you can see here if i go away and rotate a little bit you can see the length of the spotlight you can observe from here to here you can increase or decrease the length of the cones using the attenuation radius property so here we have the attenuation radius property we can reduce it you can observe it is reducing let's press the F key to focus here and I reduce 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 to zero you can see that we can increase or decrease the length of the cones that is how far the light is emitted guys next we have inner cone angle outer cone angle of course the spotlight comes with two cones inner cone and outer cone guys there are two cones available in this spotlight guys okay let me show that anyhow. Let us go here. We have inner cone angle and outer cone angle. Inner cone angle is set to 0. Outer cone angle is set to 44. Let us understand what happens in the inner cone. Within the inner cone, the light gets full brightness and between the inner cone and the outer cone, the lights gets feathered guys. Lights get feathered. Let me go back and say here inner cone angle 44 hit enter. So when I have the inner cone angle and the outer cone angle same, you see that you are getting the spotlight with hard edge. You are getting spotlight with hard edge. If you reduce the inner cone angle slowly, you see the feathering effect guys. You see the light is getting feathered here, right? So here is the inner cone guys. Here is the inner cone and within the inner cone, you will see full bright light. Whereas between the inner cone and the outer cone, the lights get feathered guys. So that's what we are talking here. We can increase the inner cone angle and the outer cone angle. We can decrease or increase guys. If the inner cone angle and the outer cone angle both are same, then you get the light with hard edge. If you want to get smooth effect, then definitely outer cone angle should be greater than inner cone angle guys. Right? Good. Next we have affects world property it enables or disables the light in the scene but remember affects world property cannot be modified at runtime okay we cannot modify the affects world property at runtime so we can enable or disable the light in the scene whereas we have visible property it is also going to work like affects world property it also enables or disables the light but visible property can be modified at runtime while playing the game we can enable or disable the light using the visible property guys. So here we have the visible property. It also enables or disables the light guys. Next property we have light color which indicates the color of the emitted light or color of the spotlight guys. So here we can change the color of the light my friends. Okay. Next we have use temperature checkbox. It enables or disables the light color based on the temperature property. We also have a temperature property 
which allows us to set the light color between warm and cool color guys if i go here and let's say i have chosen some color over here and then here we have use temperature i am enabling it and then if i go right it becomes cooler and if i go left it becomes warm right so temperature property allows us to set the light color between warm and cool guys okay next we have cast shadows property indicates whether the light cast the shadows or not if i go here go to place actors go to shapes drag and drop a cube and you see that it is casting the light right the spotlight is casting the light if i disable the cast shadows okay if i untick it is not casting lights you can see that cast shadow no cast shadow cast shadows no cast shadows hope it's clear next we have indirect light intensity indirect light intensity indicates the brightness of indirect light indirect light intensity indicates brightness of the indirect light or the bounce light guys okay we can control the intensity of the bounce light using indirect light intensity property let me explain it more clearly what i do i take this light inside the room here let's take it inside the room okay and i also give a an angle let's make it fall on the wall like this let's press the f key and go here fine that's nice now you observe the inner walls of the room guys you observe the inner walls of the room there is very less bounce light we have right if i go to details panel i just pin this we have indirect light intensity if i increase this we are increasing the intensity of the bounce light so you observe when we increase the intensity of the bounce light you can see the inner walls are becoming brighter right because of the bounce light is more now so if i reduce there is no bounce light you can increase or decrease the intensity of the bounce light guys so that is all about the spotlight guys i hope you guys have clearly understood the spotlight in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about lights in unreal engine if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep gaming keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.